Sailing Made Easy with the American Sailing Association. We're going to do a couple sailing sequences today. We're going to do some upwind and downwind sailing. We're going to show you a sequence of tacks and then a sequence of jibes. As we go, keep an eye on the steps that we go through. For example, when we tack, we're going to use our proper commands. Of course, I'm sure you know them, but nonetheless, we'll be doing ready about and then hard a lee. The crew will answer ready in between as we do that. Now, once we get into jibes, jibes are going to be a little bit different. Normally, you know, when people do jibes, they say, ready to jibe, here we go, or something like that. But we're going to use a few more commands. As we get away from smaller boats into larger boats, it's important that the helmsman control the entire sequence, which is why we add an extra command of centering the main. So the commands I'm going to use today are going to be ready to jibe, helm to the wind, centering the main, jibe-o. Jibe-o, of course, means the boom is moving and duck. So, as we go out, we're going to do a number of quick tacks, quick jibes. Keep an eye out for how the crew works and coordinates how the commands work to make everything come together. Ready about. Suzanne wraps. Ready. Mike's ready to release. Helm to lee. Boat starts to turn. Mike watches for the luff, releases. Suzanne waits till it comes across the mast and tightens up again. And there we go. A real good tack, everybody. Let's do that one more time so we see what's happening. Now this time, of course, since it's opposite, it'll be Suzanne who'll release when the sail starts to flop, and Mike who takes it in when the sail crosses the mast. All right, ready about. They answer with a hearty ready, and it's hard to lead. Tiller's down, and Suzanne releases now. Mike waits till it crosses and pulls it in tight, and we've completed a real nice clean tack. Now this, of course, is close tacking, from a close reach to a close reach. <laughs> Got a pretty good amount of heel on today, too, and that's kind of fun. Mike is going to look, because he can see the sail. He's going to try and bring it in or let it out, so we have smooth flow across those telltales. You remember we talked about those earlier. He's going to look up at the window in his jib, look for the green and the red telltale, and he'll try and fly them parallel. This is upwind sailing. We're sailing into the wind. The wind flows back along the sails in a smooth manner, lifting both telltales. In a minute, we're going to be sailing downwind. And as we sail downwind, the passage of the wind across the sails changes. All right, crew, ready to jive, please? Ready. All right, helms on the wind. Centering the main. Jibo. And of course, on Jibo, the sails cross, and the crew recovers on the other side. All right, very nice. So I'm going to say to the crew, ready to jibe? Ready. That means Suzanne's going to wrap, Mike's going to be ready to release. Next thing is helm to the wind. So I push the helm to the wind. As the boat starts to spin, I'm going to center the main. Center the main until it passes and jibe -o. Ease sheets to the next trim on a broad reach starboard tack. Here are the two rules. You're sailing upwind. You bring the sail in until it stops luffing, and you set it. When you're sailing downwind, you let the sail out if it doesn't luff, you're sailing downwind. So just set the sail 90 degrees to the direction of wind. So out till it luffs, back till it stops for upwind, out, and if it doesn't luff, set it 90 degrees. That's all there is to it. And that's your ASA Sailing Made Easy tip. Sailing Made Easy, the American Sailing Association textbook. Order your copy today at ASA.com.